guys welcome back to my channel so today in today's video I'm gonna be reviewing for you the Maybelline 24 hour super stay foundation I'll show the foundation application and me setting it with powder and all that stuff and I'm not gonna show the rest of the makeup look because one it's pretty simple and this video is not about the rest of my makeup it's just about the foundation if you would like to follow me on Twitter and Instagram I will have that link down below and I might have it somewhere on the screen maybe I don't know I might decide not to do that it will be listed down below as well as all the products that I use on my face even though I don't show them uh, like I said I'll have them listed down below but yeah anyways if you guys want to see what I think about this foundation and the shade range or lack thereof then you can just go ahead and keep on watching I went ahead and primed my face I used my J1 jelly pack and then after all that was rubbed into my skin I just went over it with some Mac fix plus and this is the, uh, the rose fragrance I bought the little Mac Snowball Christmas collection with all three. I like coconut, rose is okay. The lavender one, straight. The lavender one smells like yajitas. It does not smell good. I do have dry skin. Uh, sometimes I can get oily right here next to my nose, but as far as like everywhere else, I'm really dry. So I'm gonna take one pump of the foundation and this one is in the shade 128 Warm Nude. And I'm gonna just take a foundation brush, apply that. And I'm getting a breakout right here. Like I'm about to get a big one right there. We'll see how that works. Okay, there's one pump. Probably gonna get gonna have to use a little bit more. And you know what? I completely forgot. Gotta color correct my mustache real quick. I have worn this foundation um, about two times. It does dry pretty quickly. It dries to like a natural finish well with, considering the primer that I used it is it does look a little bit more dewy but I've tried it with different primers and it is a pretty matte foundation yep definitely have to use more so I just took another pump on the back of my hand covered up my breakout pretty well, but we're going to do another layer over that. Um, I wouldn't call it full coverage. It is definitely medium to buildable though. I used about, uh, probably about half of that other pump. So this is what the foundation looks like on my skin after one pump and a half. It covered up my breakout pretty well. Still gonna go over with concealer though. And hmm, the shade match looks pretty good. Now that that's done with, I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. Now before I blend out my concealer, I'm gonna take this So AE New York a Revitalizing Rose Mist. Um, it's this rose mist that I found at Walmart. The only other rose scented anything I've ever tried is the MAC Fix Plus rose one. And they smell really similar. And this one's way cheaper and I feel like it does the same thing. So, Okay, now I'm going to take my Maybelline concealer again and prime my eyes. Nothing has changed from the last times that I've used it. Um, I always have make sure I put on enough moisturizer. My primer that I use is pretty much a moisturizer. So that's why it looks a little bit more dewy on me. And also because the Fit Me Concealer is not matte at all. Okay, now to set my face, I've been using the Patrick X... I've been using Patrick's Powder from the Matrix Times Patrick Star Collection. I've been using the technique of not setting my lids for eyeshadow, and I've been really liking it actually. If you have dry skin and you use this foundation, I don't really think you need to set the rest of your face because it's pretty matte. This is what the foundation looks like after I've powdered and set it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup, and I'm excited because I'm gonna use the Dose of Colors Blushing Berries palette, and I'm very excited to use it. And I'll finish the rest of my face makeup, and then we'll get to the end of the video. So this is what my makeup looks like after it's all done. I've added blush, bronzer, highlight as you can tell, yes. Come through Ofra Rodeo Drive. Very pretty. But anyways, that's not the point. Um, I like this foundation. I really do. I mean, like I said, I've worn it a couple of times. It does have flashback, but it's not, I mean, it doesn't say on the bottle that it has SPF, but the flashback, I will say, is not as bad as, like, L'Oreal True Match or the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth and the Matte and Poreless foundations. It's not as bad as those, but it does have some flashback. If you have oily skin, this might not be as long-wearing as it claims to be because it does claim to stay on for 24 hours. Who wears makeup for 24 hours? I don't know. It dries down to a slightly darker color than it was. It doesn't necessarily oxidize but like once it dries that's its true color and it doesn't change from there. So as you can see that's how it dried off on my hand. If I try to grab a wipe to like rub it off of my hand it I mean a little bit comes off on the wipe but not that much. So it does have a good staying power. I do think that it's very comparable to the NARS, what is it called? The NARS Long Wear Radiant something foundation, the new one that just came out. I mean the packaging is pretty similar, which I did try the NARS foundation as well, but I got the color Santa Fe, which was a little bit too light, so I returned it and I reordered the color Strombo Elysium. That one would work for me, hopefully. It is long wearing on dry skin. As far as oily skin goes, I can't tell you because I don't have oily skin. Um, I've watched Too Much Mouth on YouTube, and she has oily skin. And in her video, it it's she did pretty much say like it's not really meant for oily skin. But like I mentioned at the beginning, the shade range is not a one at all. Pretty much all of the light and medium shades are yellow toned, and all of the dark deep shades are or they seem very orange so you know that was kind of disappointing because probably the one brand at the drugstore that has the most extensive shade range um when it comes to the fit me foundation so i believe it's it's more than 30 shades i know that and they go from very pale to very deep so i really don't know what went wrong with this foundation and they're probably going to do the whole bs we're extending the shades later or whatever but that's just honestly it's not cutting anymore I know there's been a lot of crap with the Tarte foundations so yeah I'm kind of iffy on the foundation I don't I don't know for myself I like it but I can find my shade in pretty much any foundation range so you can take your opinion from that I will be trying to upload more frequently not that any of you care but yeah I'm gonna be trying to do that brands release a lot of stuff like every freaking week not all of us got the shmoney to be buying all those products every week, you feel me? So I'll try my best. And But I did, I, I did order the Revolution Concealer, so I'll be reviewing that as well. And that'll be everything for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope I didn't annoy you too much because sometimes I talk kind of fast and I tend to mumble. And I start to like kind of what I'm doing right now, so I'm going to stop. Uh, yeah, y'all have a great rest of the week. And I hope to see you in my next video.